Hey, what's up, guys? It's Banu here from Analog.com, and this is the Huawei Nova 2i. And a lot of you guys wanted me to make a dedicated camera video of the Nova 2i to show off the features that are available in the camera of the Nova 2i. You know, the Nova 2i has four awesome cameras: two at the back and two at the front. So you guys wanted me to show off the modes, the settings, and how to basically use this thing to get the best of it. Because the Nova 2i is one of the best phones that you can buy at that price point. So in this video, I'm gonna be answering all of your questions and I'm gonna be going over the entire camera experience of the Huawei Nova 2i. And I will be showing you guys everything that you need to know when it comes to the camera of the Huawei Nova 2i. So if you are excited for that, definitely go ahead and hit that like button right now. And definitely go ahead and subscribe to Android Dollar in case if you are new to my channel. And let's get started with today's video. The Huawei Nova 2i packs four awesome cameras and there are two cameras at the back and two cameras at the front. Talking about the two cameras at the back, one camera is a 16 megapixel camera and the other is a 2 megapixel camera and the 2 megapixel camera is used to capture the depth effects. At the front there is a 30 megapixel camera along with a 2 megapixel camera. Again the 2 megapixel camera is used to capture the depth effects and it's used for the portrait mode. Now let's dig into the software and explore the camera of the Nova 2i. This is the main camera UI of the Huawei Nova 2i. So starting from the bottom, first we have the place where we can visit the gallery. So if you just go ahead and press on this, it will take you to the gallery and by pressing on this icon, it will show all of your pictures. Then in the middle, we have the shooting button to capture the photo based on the mode that you have selected. Then we have the video recording option. Actually, when you press on this, the camera will switch to the video mode. Or again, when you press on this uh, camera button, it will switch to the photo mode. So after that, you can just press on this middle button to capture a photo. Up top, we have uh, very first, we have the toggle to turn on or off the flashlight. And uh, from this, you can actually put it to an auto option. You can turn it on or you can put it to be always on. So that's pretty great. Next, we have the wide aperture mode and after that, we have the portrait mode and finally, we have the live photo mode, which are three main important uh, features of the Huawei Nova 2i. I've actually spoken about this in my Huawei Nova 2i software tips video, so I'm not going to waste much time in this video to talk about this. Uh, go check out my other video because in that, I have some, some samples as well as instructions on how to use these three modes. So I will be focusing on other things that are camera centric except these three modes. So um, finally we have the toggle to switch the camera and when you switch the camera what you will notice is that up top we have a different toggle. This toggle is for a soft flash. In case if you didn't know the Nova 2i actually has a front facing flasher as well. So if you enable that this flashlight will turn on. The good thing is the flashlight, if you put it in auto mode, in dark environments, the flashlight will turn on automatically. So that's pretty awesome. As well as there's portrait mode for the front facing camera as well. And you can adjust the beauty level from here. And uh, next we have the uh, motion picture, that's the moving picture mode, uh, again for the front facing camera. And finally we have again the toggle to swap the cameras. This is Huawei standby mode for the camera. So if you are actually not using the camera for a few seconds, this screen will pop up automatically. And uh, you, all you need to do to activate the camera is just go ahead and tap on the screen and the camera UI will be back. So it's a nice way to save some battery on the device. Now moving on to the main camera modes that are found on the Nova 2i. You can just slide to your left and it will reveal all the modes and if you just slide to your right, it will reveal all the settings. If I slide to the left, it will reveal all the modes that are found on the Nova 2i and if you see, there are a bunch of modes that are available on this device. So I will talk about these modes one by one 
First off, we have the automatic photo mode. If you just want to snap a picture pretty fast, just go ahead and enable this mode. You, you don't have to do anything, just uh, focus and shoot. So that's pretty great. If, uh, if not, if you want to take it a bit step forward and if you want to manually adjust things, definitely go ahead and select the pro photo mode. What this will do is it will allow you to adjust the ISO, the shutter speed, and uh, you can even adjust the focus so that's pretty awesome you even have manual focusing in this mode so just go ahead and play with this and um, if you are a photography enthusiast definitely you will find this handy so definitely go ahead and play with this and you can even shoot pictures in raw so this mode is pretty awesome if you are a photography enthusiast same as the pro, pro photo mode we also have a pro video mode on the nova 2i uh, especially talking about a device of this price point to see a pro video mode is like pretty awesome on android on most of other devices you have to actually get a third party camera app from the google play store to enable this functionality but it's really nice to see huawei implementing all of this on a budget range phone you can actually adjust the focus the white balance and whatnot and you can shoot amazing videos with the nova 2i we also have a HDR mode on the Nova 2i and it works really well and here's a sample HDR photo for you. Next we have the night shot mode where you can actually use this uh, in low light situations or nighttime environments and here's a sample for you. Of course everyone's favorite panorama feature is also here on the Nova 2i. Here's a sample of a panorama. Next we have the light painting mode. This mode is actually a very impressive mode. Again, um, to see on a device of this uh, price point, it's pretty impressive. In order to use the light painting mode, you have to just go ahead and enable that. And after that, you can just use this toggle right over here and it will give four other options. So the first mode is tail light trails and the second option is light graffiti. Then we have silky water and star track. So if you're just uh, trying to capture photos of stars, you can maybe use this mode and capture some pictures. So I will have some samples for you right here. Next we have the time lapse mode. I think this mode needs no explanation because all of us know what a time lapse is or at least I hope. So for those of you who are not sure about a time lapse, it's basically a fast forwarded sequence. So let's say you're uh, capturing the sunset. The sunset will be captured pretty fast using the time lapse mode and here's a sample of the time lapse mode. Next we have the slow motion mode and uh, I wouldn't say that it works the best on the Nova 2i because of the limitations of the camera and again um, we really can't expect flagship level specifications on the Nova 2i when we consider the price of the device but uh, for what we get at this price point the slow motion capabilities are quite okay and here's a sample for you. Next we have the filters. So if you are a fan of using a bunch of filters, we have these basic filters on the Nova 2i and you can go ahead and use any of these. If you want to easily capture a monochrome black and white picture, you can select that mode and you can bring something in and capture a picture just like this. And uh, yeah, just like that you have a nice black and white picture. If you are not a fan of filters, but if you are a fan of effects, then definitely you will find the next one, the effects tab, very interesting. So you can actually use the effects with bo both the back camera as well as the front camera. Um, talking about the back camera, actually I'm using a blue color Huawei Nova 2i for this video. So if you dig the blue color Nova 2i color, definitely go ahead and smash that like button right now and let me know uh, that you actually dig this color. So anyway, talking about the... Um, Effects that are available on the Nova 2i, there are actually quite a few uh, effects. So let me quickly go ahead and uh, swap the uh, camera so that uh, I can actually show you guys some of these uh, modes. 
so I can actually swap back into the effects and we have fancy effects just like this one or this one or this one or these so these are pretty funky effects uh, I think these would match uh, for a girl more than a guy but uh, if you really want to use some effects you can use them Moving back into the other modes that are available, um, actually if you swap into the front facing camera, uh, the modes that are available will change. If you see, uh, when you go back uh, into the front facing camera, the modes will change. And there is also a watermark feature on uh, this, so you can actually use that as you see the time and the date uh, changes over here. Today is Wednesday and we have the time and the weather and all of that. So these are nice stickers that you can use. Next we have the audio note feature where you can actually capture a picture and record audio up to 10 seconds and uh, yeah that's that, uh, it's an audio note. And next we have the document scan feature where you can scan documents obviously like the name says. And finally we have the good food mode, it's pretty good if you are actually trying to take pictures of food, it will uh, punch up that saturation and all of that and the picture will look uh, quite punchy and it will look nice. So I will have um, samples for all of these and apart from that we have the more uh, option over here in case if you don't see some of these um, settings available for your device definitely go ahead and hit on this more option and here's where you can actually download filters and effects and other modes to your NOAA 2 i So some of these modes weren't actually available when I actually purchased the device uh, but now I have installed them, downloaded and installed them and now all of that is available. So apart from that there is also an edit button here so you can uh, get rid of something if you don't want or you can um, actually adjust the order here and um, or arrange it in a way that you use it the most and yeah that's about it for the modes and finally if you just tap on this information icon right over here you will get some information about all the modes that are available on the NOAA 2i so definitely go ahead and check those out well yeah that's that now coming back to the main camera UI actually once you have actually selected a mode if you want to get rid of that mode all you have to do is just go ahead and press on this X next to that and the phone will go back to the normal photo mode. If you want to swap to the video mode, just go ahead and press on the video icon right over here and the video mode will show up. Again, if you want to just close the video mode, just tap on that and the video mode will go away. Now let's slide to the right and see what other options are available in here. So first off, we have the resolution and here you can select the aspect ratio and the resolution that you want to capture photos in. The NOAA 2 i has a 16 megapixel camera at the back as well as a 2 megapixel camera to capture the depth effects. So you can pick whichever resolution you want and based on the resolution the aspect ratio will change. So if you want a square picture you can actually select the 1 by 1 aspect ratio or if you want to actually use the whole screen uh, as you see when I selected the 18 by 9 aspect ratio now the black bars have disappeared and uh, uh, now the whole camera UI is uh, usable but uh, the resolution has been dropped to 11 megapixels here uh, so if you don't mind that you can use the 11 megapixel mode or if you want the full resolution definitely go ahead and use the 16 megapixel mode what that will do is add uh, black bars over here and you will have a 4 by 3 picture as the final output. So definitely go ahead and play with this and see what works for you. You can actually uh, capture pictures in raw mode as well and that's pretty impressive again. Uh, something that I have spoken about earlier as well uh, at this price point getting features like this is pretty sweet. Um, in order to use the raw format mode you have to actually use the pro photo mode and in that you can actually enable the raw format and you can capture photos in raw with all of the details and then you can put it into a software like Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop and do wonders with that image because it has all of that awesome details in it. So anyway next we have the GPS tag where the tag and the location of that place will be captured and also we have the automatic watermark feature if you have been following me on Instagram and all of that you guys must definitely be knowing what this is
automatically when capturing a picture this is how you can add that watermark at the bottom of the image so you can easily enable that if you really want next we have the assistive grid so these are the grids so that you can take the most balanced shot if you want and you can actually disable or enable the mirror reflection so if you are taking selfies definitely this will be quite useful for you um, in the selfie mode you can actually disable or enable the mirror reflection so um, you know sometimes the image is inverted so by using this mode you can uh, get rid of that next up we have the mute mode where we can enable that to make sure that the camera doesn't make any sound when capturing photos so if you are not a fan of all the sounds just go ahead and enable the mute mode the Nova 2i also packs a palm gesture capture mode that is available for selfies so you can enable that if you want to capture selfies with gestures next up we have the timer if you really want to use that and uh, you can adjust it to capture photos in 2 seconds 5 seconds or 10 seconds and uh, next we have the audio control and this is uh, pretty sweet again you can go ahead and say cheese to take pictures or they or you can actually select this mode where it will take photos when your voice reaches a certain decibel level so uh, i will just adjust it to capture a photo when i say cheese and let me go ahead and go into the camera view and say cheese and just like that the picture was captured so yeah this was just captured with my voice isn't that pretty awesome anyway we also have the touch to capture feature and uh, with this all you have to do is just go ahead and uh, touch on the screen and as you saw the picture was again captured so that's pretty awesome and also there's another mode to capture the smiles if you have people smiling in the picture uh, this will the camera is actually smart enough to capture pictures of that and uh, the camera can actually track objects and focus on objects as well so that's pretty sweet if you're actually trying to uh, record videos that will be really helpful the huawei nova 2i camera actually packs a burst mode as well so if you want to capture pictures in a fast sequence all you have to do is tap and hold on the camera icon and it will capture a ton of pictures so just like that i have captured 20 photographs and uh, as no denoted by this icon right over here i can just go ahead and tap on that and i can select which picture i want so i have captured 20 photos and these are the 20 photos that are there so i can select one and press save so yeah that's uh, basically the burst mode that is available on the nova 2i actually if you want the shutter button to do something else you can go into this setting and um, lock focal length using the shutter icon as well if you don't want to use the burst mode you can enable that setting uh, anyway at the end of the screen we have the volume button function uh, using these two volume buttons you can either take a picture zoom in or you can focus so you can select whichever option you want on your Huawei Nova 2i I usually prefer to capture the picture so I'm just gonna leave that with the shutter option finally we have the ultra snapshot option and what this will do is open the camera and quickly take a snapshot um, or you can make it open the camera and not take a picture at all or you can just disable it so uh, in order to give you a demonstration of this let me quickly lock my device and when I just double tap the power down button it will open up and capture a picture so just like that uh, using ultra snapshot a picture was captured on the Nova 2i so you, this is the setting where you can use to adjust the behavior of that finally we have the image adjustment area where you can adjust the saturation the contrast the brightness and whatnot of the images that are captured and uh, it's really nice to see that Huawei has bundled in all of these settings and all of these modes on to the camera of the Huawei Nova 2i and finally we have a restore to defaults option if in case if you screw up with an option over here you can restore everything to the default settings and uh, all your problems will disappear so yeah this is basically a good overview of uh, all of the features and all of the things that are available on the Huawei Nova 2i's camera since a lot of you guys actually requested me to do this video I thought uh, of doing this video and going in detail 
into all of these things so if you have any other questions regarding the huawei nova 2 i's camera definitely go ahead and drop a comment right now and uh, ask me any question that you have about the nova 2 i and i will definitely get back to you and if you have any other video requests using the huawei nova 2 i as well definitely let me know and i will definitely make it happen well guys that's the entire camera experience of the huawei nova 2 i and i really hope that you found this video useful if you did definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends and definitely if you're new to my channel and if you aren't subscribed already definitely go ahead and hit on that subscribe button down below and also hit on that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you will be notified each and every time i upload a new video like this on youtube I have made a ton of tech videos on YouTube in my channel and if you are interested in tech videos definitely go ahead and check them out as well and if you want to know some awesome tips about the Nova 2i definitely go ahead and check out that video I have a link down below in the description for you as well. If you aren't following me on social media yet definitely go ahead and do that i will have all the links to my social media accounts down below in the description that's where you will find all the behind the scenes and updates of the upcoming videos like the full video review of the huawei nova 2i as well as the giveaway of the huawei nova 2i so definitely go ahead and enter my giveaway so that you can win this awesome huawei nova 2i so I will have the links for all of that down below in the description as well. As always, stay tuned to Android.com for all the latest from the tech world. And until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.